Doors were thrown open across Denver this weekend in the name of history. Doors Open Denver showcases the richness of some of Denver's oldest and most unique buildings. Our Joel Hillen reports many people got to explore the roots of the Mile High City. I feel enriched just knowing that I can come down here and visit these buildings and hear some of the stories. Jerry Bragdon and two of her friends took advantage of the great weather to look at some of Denver's most historic buildings, including Denver's fire station number three. I just love the structure, the architecture of the building, old woodwork. Charming, said Normina Walton, who has lived in Denver since 1995, and cozy. You have to get along up in here because there's no space. <laughs> She says this is also a great opportunity for the community to come together. You want accessibility. You want people to feel like this is my fire station. I know the firemen. I can walk in here. It's part of my community. Getting to actually walk into some of these spaces that wouldn't normally be open, they can get a better understanding of how great of a city it has been and how much it is growing now. This is the fourth year Mitch Hansen has volunteered for Doors Open Denver. The Fort Collins native recently moved back to Denver from New York City. Getting involved in this made me really feel like it was, I was part of Denver again. When was this map done? 1940. Oh my oh, gosh. The ladies say they're already planning to come back next year. This year is five points, next year maybe the Highlands, the next year Denver. Interesting communities to not only see and experience, but also to learn from. Explore Colorado, explore Denver, explore other communities. And I think that is how people learn how to um, get along better. In Denver, Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First.